Hello, Marlena here with ThePenAndAPurpose.com, and I'm just going to show you a few of the new brush updates in Procreate 5.2. The first thing that you may have noticed is under your brush settings, you now have a recent brush library. This will save all of the brushes that you use in a project up to eight. So if you use more than eight, it's going to erase the last one that you used. If there's one that you really like and you want to be able to go back to it, you can actually slide to the left and pin it to the top. That one will never disappear now. It's always going to be at the top of your recent brush library. The other thing you can do is actually say you really like this Tamar brush and you're like, where in the world did I find that? I want to see if there's other brushes in that library that I like. You can swipe it to the left and I can find it and you can see it opened the brush library where that was at. So if I scroll down, I can see it's in my painting brush library. I'm going to go back up to this recent brush and you can see, let's say that I switch to another one. I'm going to go to my sketching, select 6B pencil, I'm going to use it. And then you can go back up here and you can see that 6B pencil is now here underneath the one that I pinned. Another new feature within Procreate is the ability to save different sizes of brushes. So if I go here and I have Tamar selected, and let's say I'm creating some artwork, and I like this size, say 6% here, I can hit the plus sign and it's going to save that brush size. So let's say I'm doing my artwork and I decide I want to do something bigger. I'm going to go to 13%. I'm going to select the plus and I can create something with 13. When I want to go back, I'm just going to hit this little minus sign and now I'm back to the 6% brush. So that's really handy for keeping track of which brush sizes you used. You could do the same thing in opacity. So let's say I want to fade my brush down to 33% just so it's a very light gray. I can actually save that. 35 actually by hitting the plus and it's gonna it's going to remember that so I'm gonna switch brushes I'm gonna go over to soft brush I don't have any saved here so I can just save this by hitting the plus like before and I want to go back and use tomorrow again and you can see even though I switched brushes it saved my brush sizes so these are some really cool handy tips that were added to procreate 5.2 that may help you to remember which brushes you've used within a project. I hope you found this helpful. If you do, please hit subscribe for more Procreate tips.